Welcome to your home garage and in this video, and I know this is going to sound funny, I'm going to explain why you may not need to be alarmed if you see yellow snow under your car. Now we all know the rule about yellow snow, but should you be worried about it when it's coming from underneath your car? Some drivers who have dug their cars from the snow and then drove out may have spotted some yellowish green stained snow in their parking spots, which would normally be cause for alarm as with the case with my Honda Odyssey. But let's work backwards and see if we can figure it out. Now instinct would say that it's either an animal or your engine coolant. Well, I could rule out an animal because I'm not seeing any footprints under the van and that bright yellow runs the length of the vehicle. So not typical behavior of an animal. Now let's move to checking all the major fluids. Well, this vehicle uses blue coolant, so that can't be it. And then you have the engine oil, transmission, power steering, brake, freon, and windshield washer fluid, none of which are bright yellow in color. So where is this coming from? Well, I think my chemistry teacher would be proud of me. It's a chemical reaction between your exhaust, heat shield, and road salt mixing with snow melting from your car. Now you may still want to check your fluids just in case. But everything in this situation points to a chemical reaction since I don't have any bright yellow fluids. Now the vast majority of exhaust systems built today are made of iron alloy and galvanized steel. Exhaust pipes are made of either iron or stainless steel. Heat shields are made of galvanized steel and that galvanized steel uses zinc as a rust inhibitor. So zinc, when hot, such as running your vehicle, and in the presence of iron and a catalyst, creates yellow zinc oxide in the form of crystals. The key or connection is the catalyst, salt water, or compacted snow with road salt mixed in. If the snow is able to touch the exhaust heat shields and the exhaust pipes at the same time, the chemical reaction between the two dissimilar metals creates the bright yellow crystals. And depending on how your vehicle is parked, that could drip and run the length of your exhaust system. So in this case, no need for alarm since we just eliminated all the possible fluids. But if your coolant just happens to be yellow, it would be best if you actually check the level and then park it in a different spot with less snow and monitor for any visual leaks. Now you know the effects of drifting snow under your vehicle and the color it leaves behind. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, of course sharing this video with a friend, and please comment below as I reply to all. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage.